was checking some trail camera cards this morning and found a great surprise. Look at that. Oh my, he's a dog. Yeah, you just don't, Lee. you don't, I mean, that's a hundred, that's a mature doe, look at the face. We're in the Ozark Mountains, as y'all know, no commercial ag fields anywhere around, so bucks rarely get over 200, 210 pounds. But check out this monster we found. Do you recognize him? No, none of us do. I think, I theorize it's the deer dad didn't shoot last year, because I don't know if any other buck in that neighborhood could have got that big. Mature does here tend to weigh 100, 120 pounds on the top end. And look how much bigger this buck is than this doe. Sometimes you find a buck that you instantly just know it's a shooter. You don't have to worry on any particular technique or tactic to age it. But this buck is so huge, he highlights some of the characteristics I look for to determine if a buck is four years of age or older. The Reconics actually captured several pictures of this buck, but this is a great broadside view, and it just shows a tremendous pop belly, sway back, and a little bit of a hump over the shoulder. Although overall, this buck's body is so large, some of the features aren't as clear as a slightly smaller buck. Clearly this buck is mature, four, five, six, maybe seven, I'm not sure. This buck is mature enough that we see he's got split G2s coming on, and we can also see some extra points coming off in other places. Even though he's shifted around posture, we're still seeing a huge pop belly, sway back, really defined front shoulders, the neck merging all the way at the chest. The eyes look small because there's so much flesh on the face. Clearly an older deer.